You say you need a time I think you mean a buyout Cause it's pretty clear you're on your way out And though I understand it's hard sometimes To make up your mind in these trying times, yeah Hey everybody, welcome back to another vlog Whether you're new or a returning subscriber I appreciate you for clicking on today's video I feel like Junior knows every single time I take a seat right here Cause what does he be doing up there? You guys hear that? So, clearly, so my office is right underneath Junior's room, so I get to hear everything he, yeah, we, we get to hear everything that Junior does. Anyways, you guys, we have three new fragrances to smell, so thank you to Dossier for collabing with me on yet another video. You guys know I like to smell these fragrances with you so you can get my initial reaction. So this first one is Floral Violet. The top notes are watermelon, pomelo, strawberry, middle notes violet, gardenia, and jasmine, base notes musk, vanilla, and blonde woods. And it's inspired by Marc Jacobs' Daisy. So we're gonna so. spray this. I think I have smelled this, I think I've smelled this before, like the actual perfume, so let me see. Oh, that smells good. Oh, that smells really good. That smells really good. I really like this. Oh, let me spray it on me. <laughs> I always like to, I spray it on the cards, but I like to spray it on my skin because you know perfumes smell different on everybody's skin. So I wanna see how that smells, let's see. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. All right, like, so I'm really excited about that. But you guys, if you don't know what Dossier is, it's a company who sells high-end fragrances for a fraction of the price. If you've never shopped with them before, be sure to, even if you have shopped with them before, click the link down in my description box. You'll get an extra 5% off of whatever they're offering on their website. So these next two fragrances, these next two fragrances, my aunt, she actually, these are her favorite fragrances. And so her birthday is actually today when I'm filming this. So I'm going to go ahead and gift these to her. So these make great gifts for yourself, for others. The holidays are coming up, you guys. If you just heard that go off, that was my air condition. But anyways, these make great gifts. So click the link down in the description box. Once again, if you use Shanti 5, I'm going to put that up on the screen over here. Then you can get an additional 5% off. This one is um, Gorman White Flowers. The top notes are bergamot, green tea, freesia berries. Middle notes are white flowers, orchid, and rose. Rose, base notes musk, patchouli, caramel, and vanilla. And this is inspired by Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. <sighs> this smells like her. That's crazy. You know how certain people just have certain scents, like no matter what. Oh, Auntie, this smells good. This smells just like you. It's not something I would wear. I feel like it's a little bit. It's my Auntie. Like, <laughs> this smells really good, though. It smells just like her. And she always smells good. Let me show you the packaging. Just in case you've never seen the packaging before. This is what it looks like. You guys know if you've been following me. This is one of my favorite parts is the packaging. Because it's like super simple. And it's aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. And then also the caps are magnetic. So that's just like another extra touch that I like. So this one is Woody Oak Moss. The top notes are bergamot, orange, and peach. Middle notes, jasmine, rose, and patchouli. Did I just say this? So they're, the top and middle notes have some similarities. So clearly this is why she smells, always smells good. She picks probably similar fragrances. And the base notes are oak moss, vanilla, and vetiver. And this is inspired by Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. So let's spray that. Ooh, this smells good. This smells like some my mom would like as well. So these are all good choices, all good choices. I'm, I might wear this, the Chanel one. I think I would wear this. This would be like date night or something like that. Another thing I really love about Dossier is if you do buy a fragrance that you don't like, you can send it back and they'll refund your money. Anyways, those are the three fragrances for this month. High-end fragrances typically range anywhere from $100 and on up to thousands of dollars, you guys. So go check out Dossier because they have fragrances as low as $29. Thank you to Dossier for collabing with me on another video. I already know if you've been around, don't judge my pot. I'm here making dinner, you guys. I just want to show you what I'm making. I'll show you the final result when it's done. Usually I like to add spinach to this, but the spinach I had went bad while we were in Hawaii. So this is what I have. I have some diced onion, tomato, garlic. There's a little bit of butter in here. Clearly you see the shrimp. And I seasoned the shrimp with Lowry's seasoned salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. I just cut my broccoli off. It's done. And then I have egg noodles. I'm going to make it in a cream based sauce. So I'll show you guys how it turns out once it's done. She's putting all, all, all of her cars down on the table, knowing there's no way that she'll be able. 
<laughs> say hi, Papa. Hi. You guys look at their hair. Lucy Bear, say hi, Mama. Hi. So cute, girl. <laughs> All right, you guys, we just made it to Shakey's. We're just waiting on my brother and my sister-in-law and the kids to come. We just decided to meet up so we can hang out and spend some time with each other. And then after this, we have our niece's birthday parties to go to. I don't know, this lighting is making me look greasy, but it's okay. Daddy likes pineapple pizza. <laughs> Papa, come on. Just one cut in half. Well, I can't cut it in half. You just need to <laughs> Ariana, say hi. <laughs> Auntie's baby. Nathaniel, say hi. No? Little Junior, say hi. <laughs> Junior? Lila, say hi. Kyrie. <laughs> yeah, Lisi. Huh? Don't leave Lisi out, huh? All aunties, babies. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Love you. Sneak my mom in there. Oh. Hi, niece. You don't mind being filmed, right? It's my niece.
a prosperous and rich man. Faithful to God and greater than that. How do you do? <laughs> I love you. Yay! Yay. Aww. Aww. That's That's fire. Fire. And I got over the fact that he was so big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Cheers. 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 Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy An old man. <laughs> You should do my poem, Mom. Nobody should do your poem right now. To you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday. guys so I just got my nails done I hope the air conditions not too loud but I went to a new guy let me switch arms here but anyways I went to a new guy because I missed the appointment I had yesterday with my nail technician and so I came to an well it's not a new place because I've come here to get my pedicures plenty of times anyways I love how my nails came out it looks like my guy did it but now I have a couple errands to run I need to go get my eyebrows threaded I wanted to run into Target and Hobby Lobby really fast and then Soraya said she's craving sushi with sushi I'm gonna put quotes around that because my best friend and all my friends who actually eat raw sushi say California rolls are not sushi but that's but what I consider sushi because I don't eat nobody's raw sushi so I'm just trying to debate where I'm gonna go first I think I'm gonna go to Target and get my eyebrows threaded and then I'll go to Hobby Lobby and then the last stop will be sushi because Hobby Lobby and the sushi are right next to each other so I think that's what we're about to do so we're gonna go to Target first and then I'm gonna get my eyebrows threaded I probably won't show you guys while I'm getting my eyebrows threaded but just know I'm gonna do that after Target it's a little dark here in the car but that's how my nails came out and I love them all right I'm over here looking for some brow glue and I can't find it it might be sold out that's what I want right there the next brow glue <coughs> I don't know who's coughing like that but Lord oh this is brow mascara I need brow glue I can't stand when you come in a store for something and they don't have it Ugh. I'm not asking for much. I just wanted one little item from over here. You guys, they have all their Halloween and fall stuff out. Probably not all, but a good amount it looks like. I like that. How much is that? $10. Like these are the table runners. I like that one. Have the skeleton ice trays. I think I got one of these from Timu though. Look at the cauldron candle. Let's see if it smells good. That was heavy. Nope, don't like the way it smells, but it's cute. They also have the pumpkin ice trays. Really cute. How much are these ice trays? $10 each. That's cute. $20. I like that. And this is for a tea light. That's really cute. This is $20. It's not worth $20 in my opinion, but it's $20. I love those. The smaller one's $25 and the bigger one is $30. These mushrooms are cute. You guys, look at these throws and pillows. These are so cute. Very soft. And then these pillows, they look, they're like a good size. The throws are $40 and then the pillows are how much are they? Pillows are 30. Oh. And they even have the olive color. Super cute. So there's like a couple mushrooms and then there's acorns. That's really cute. I think I'm gonna get these. They're $15 each. I got these from the Target Dollar Spot for Lisey's room. These are cute. I think they're, oh, they're $3. I was gonna say five. They have these vase fillers too. I think they're, I don't know if they're apples or I don't know what they are, but they're cute. All right, you guys, so we're in Hobby Lobby, and look how pretty these are. These are really pretty. I got something similar last year. These are glass, by the way, but I don't see them out yet. 
This is the bigger one. This is $9.99 and then these ones are $6.99. The ones I got last year kind of look like that, but definitely not that color. But I'm keeping my eye out for them because they ran out last year and I definitely want to get some more this year. But these are just really pretty. Those are pretty as well. You guys, I used to really love some Hobby Lobby, but I feel like every year it's the same thing. Like, <laughs> I feel like I bought it all. I don't know, they don't have nothing new. I think I got these last year. Either I got these or I was thinking about getting them. Those amber vases are pretty, but I have to. I've had them for a few years. That's what I have down there, the bigger one. If you guys been following me, especially on the other channel, then you know I used to have all this farmhouse decor. All of it. I had a couple of those. I had some similar a couple years ago. That's cute. How much are they? I like to give you guys prices. These are $12.99. And the fall decor is the fall decor is 40% off. And the larger one is $15.99. Now I do like coming over here and getting the kids their arts and crafts stuff between here and the Dollar Tree or what Tiff calls the Dollar 25 tree. I always get some pretty good stuff. I'm not trying to get anything right now though. I'm just trying to kill time because I ordered sushi and I'm waiting for it to be done. I have about 10 minutes to kill. These little mini hay bales are so cute. Kind of makes me miss my tear tray. I always like to come over here and look at the vases. It's been a while since I've been in Hobby Lobby but they always have nice vases. That big gray one at the bottom, I always come in and see the big one. I want the size under that. I would get that one, but I don't know where I would put it. I can't just be buying stuff and don't know where I, you know, don't have a vision for it. I don't know. What is this? This is different. Mm. Mm. This is nice. It's $24.99. It's 50% off, so it'll be what, $12.50? I like this too. $14.99. 50% off of that. $7.50. This one right here is nice. This one's nice too, the black one. I have something similar from Pottery Barn, but I like the one from Pottery Barn a lot better. All right, you guys, I am back home and I'm about to eat. I am so hungry. All right, you guys, I'm back home. I changed my clothes, washed my hands. Oh my goodness, it's so hot out there. But I didn't find anything at Hobby Lobby. I'm just gonna give you this little haul of what I got at Target. I am gonna go back to Hobby Lobby for those ornaments, so I'm just waiting to see if they have the other ones. Anyways, I got two of these. I left one in the car because that's what I got them for. I got two things of wet ones, these vase fillers that I showed you guys. I got two things of the Peppermint Casa Luna essential oil. That is my favorite essential oil, absolute all-time favorite, you guys. It smells so good. If you haven't tried this, definitely try it. I got this woven pumpkin because I'm really into woven pumpkins. I think about two years ago, is when I got my first one. I'm not sure. Anyways, but I picked that up. I, sh I showed you guys this little assortment while we were in Target. And I was thinking I could put it just like this on this tray. Well, take it out, clearly. Anyways, and put it in Lisey's room. This was $3 from the Target dollar spot. And then this was $5. I don't know what it's made out of. And then I also had picked up this satin lipstick from Target. Target didn't have these items that I was looking for. So I stopped at Ulta. So I got some more of this base. The one I have, you guys, is basically gone. I got some setting spray by NYX, or NYX, however you want to call it. And then this is the brow glue that I was looking for. The vlog before we went to Hawaii, I wanted to show you guys that decorative bowl that I got right there. This one right here. I got it from Amazon. I really like how it looks. That black box that was right there, I told you I was going to ask my husband to move it down below, and he did. So I like how that looks much better. Let me cut the lights on so you guys can see. Okay. So, just up close, this is what the bowl looks like. Just different. It's textured. I don't know if you can tell that on camera. I think you can. That's how it looks with the lights on. You probably can't really tell the lights are on because it's still light outside. But at nighttime, it looks really nice. Anyways, now let me show you guys what the light looks like above the table. I want to show you guys the color of this lipstick. Uh -oh. um. So, I like the packaging, but it's called Hustle, and that's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's the color. Let me back it up. That's the color. So, I think it'll look really pretty, like with a lip liner, or just this, and like a little lip gloss on top. I got some more salt hair. I am so happy about this. I have been out. 
because they were out of stock for a while. And so I got myself two of these. I've told you guys about this before. If you did not order you any, you better go order it now. Oh, I love this stuff. It smells like, I don't know, it smells good. I really like it. So after the shower, I like to put this on and then I'll put like my perfume that I wear to go to bed. And I feel like the, the oil helps the perfume to stay on longer. But definitely, well, I'm going to take this out because I'm going to use it later on. <laughs> definitely go get you some, though. I'll link it down below. But it's just called Saltaire. I got it directly from the website. Throw this one away. And I have a backup. I probably should have ordered two more. That's how much I like it. Trances, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if I've never seen these, have you? Uh -huh. Look, Sonic. I've never seen none of this. Huh? I was looking at all these, like, look, like Dragon Ball Z, Sonic. Wait, they can't drink that. What is this? Is it juice or is oh, it? Energy yes, energy drinks. Oh, okay. Yeah. What jerky did you get? Um, honey teriyaki. Well, that sounds good. Oh. And then barbecue. I'm gonna try this. Are, do they have turkey it. jerky or is it just all no, beef jerky? No, oh. I thought they did. I could have sworn he got it. Which one did you like? You said honey. I know, I like this one. This one's good. This is oh, that sounds this good. One the I'm honey. Trying. Which? Where is this one at? Oh, is that it? Uh -huh. Okay. I'm trying this. One. And twelve dollars each or two for twenty. So I'm gonna try this one too. I'm gonna try the honey, and then. I wonder if the hot is good. I wonder if sweet and spicy is good. Try it. Try it. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. They have all kinds. They have the Southwest hot beef jerky, weed killer hot beef jerky, alien extreme. There's barbecue on the moon, whiskey beef jerky. Oh, I wonder if whiskey, whiskey beef jerky is good. Let's see, they have different types of honey. There's pure honey, sage, eucalyptus, avocado, clover orange you guys this is my weakness over here this one's mango with chili and this is mango with chamoy the chamoy with gummy bears yeah <laughs> this is right in my alley right here tell me what your name is tell me what you like and all your secrets i just want to go over the details let me inside of your mind i know i just met you Something tells me that you might be into Talking to a stranger with a tattoo Baby, I'm another kind There's a reason we're here There's a vibe in the air That neither you and me could deny Boy, I see how you stare Up and down everywhere I can tell you're far from shy So let's talk till we drop Or till we get kicked out Alright you guys, so we just finished eating lunch. Where are we headed to Nick? Fat Tuesdays. Fat Tuesdays. Have you been waiting for this? I've been waiting all week for this. <laughs> yes. Shell's over here to my left you guys, but she don't want me to show her. Say hi though. Hello everybody. I'm behind the camera today. <laughs> behind the scenes, the BTS. BTS. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's go. Where at? Oh, what hotel are we at? Venetian. Venetian. We're at the Venetian. Wait, is that right? Venetian? Uh -huh. Venetian Hotel. I am going to film it. Alright you guys, we are heading out to the concert. Please be in that business. 
guys. I feel like I haven't sat down in front of this camera in a long time. Matter of fact, I don't feel like that. I just honestly haven't. I think the last thing I filmed was the Beyonce concert. So it's been a while. Anyways, um, and today's September, today is September 6th. So shame on me. It's been, it's been a while since I posted. It's been a while since I picked up the camera. So I'm gonna go back to the night of the Beyonce concert just to give you, cause I don't think I sat down and said anything. Um, I don't believe I did. Anyways, the concert was amazing. It, it really, really was. You guys, <laughs> excuse me, I smell really good because I just finished filming the sponsorship that went in the beginning of this video. I have this one right here. I showed you guys already, but I just have to say it again because this smells really good. This is inspired by Marc Jacobs Daisy. This smells bomb. Anyways, going back to the night of Beyonce concert, you guys, it was a really, really good concert. That was my first time seeing Beyonce in concert. And I'm happy I went when I did. That's something, that was my birthday gift for my husband. So he bought that, he bought the tickets way back in April. He bought the tickets way back in February, I think. It don't matter when he bought the tickets. Anyway, she puts on one heck of a performance. Of course, I didn't expect anything less from her. She's not my favorite artist. I've shared that many times with you guys but I do like her music. I think she's a really good performer and I think she sings really well. She's just not my favorite. You guys know who my favorites are, but if you don't, I'm gonna tell you again. My favorites are Usher, Chris Brown, Mary J. Blige, and LMA. So those are my favorite R&B artists. Clearly, I have like my favorite country singer, mm -hmm. I have my favorite rappers as well, but those are my top four favorite R&B artists. Anyway, um, I probably don't wanna say this, but that that was the best concert I've ever been to. And the reason I don't want to say it is because I love Usher so much. And I'm telling you, he's like, like Beyonce, she's right here and Usher, she, he's right here. I don't care. Like, uh, that's just how I feel about it. But first of all, Usher is an amazing performer as well. Plus, I know every last one of his songs. I did not know every last one of Beyonce's songs. Like, for me, in my opinion, this wasn't my favorite Beyonce album by any means. The Renaissance album. Um... It was something different that I never like have really heard her do, but I ain't a Beyonce fan, so I could be wrong about that. But as far as, I don't know, all the music was like kind of, like they're good to work out to, or if you're trying to get hyped for something, most of the songs on the album are good for that. I do like quite, I, I like maybe like five or six um, songs on that album, if I'm being honest. Let me tell you what I did love, what my favorite part of the concert was. First of all, it's a whole production. She. I can't even imagine how much time, effort, and money goes into Junior, darn it. I'm, I'm gonna go and choke Junior. But um, I don't I don't know how much money goes into, t I don't know how much time, what, what was I saying? I don't know how much time, money, and effort goes into putting in, like goes into making a performance like that. But you could tell it's a lot. A lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of effort, okay? All the wardrobe um, changes, just, just, it's a production, you guys, like, it, it's amazing. But anyways, like I was saying, my favorite parts of actually going to the concert, just what, seeing all of her fans, like, you guys, her fans go hard for her. Her fans go so hard. She kind of reminds me like Madonna, like how, and maybe because, especially this album, I feel like, I don't want to say it was geared towards, but I feel like a lot of the, I don't know I'm going to mess this up, LBGTQ, LB, you, LB, LBTGQ, LB, I'm, I'm going to tear it up and I'm not looking it up, but that community, um, no, look, no shade because there's no shade. I just don't know. Y'all know y'all took up too many letters in the alphabet doing that. But anyways, that community, I feel like really gravitated towards this album. And you guys, that's who showed up and showed out. All of those, I don't want to call them, all the girls, all of the whatever, however, I don't want to miss, say anybody wrong. I'm talking about the girls. That community, they showed up, showed out, you guys. The way they were dressed, I was like, I know that's right. I know that's right. Like, it was, that's what that's what did it for me like that that was amazing also i really love seeing blue ivy anyway so those were like the highlights of the night for me of course the concert itself was a highlight anyways enough about the concert it was awesome you guys get the point anyways you guys i feel like i've been rambling i think i've been rambling for a good 10 minutes or so i want to go organize this tumbler cabinet that i have i have like a lot of my starbucks cups in this cabinet and i have some wine glasses and just some other stuff and i want to organize it so we're about to go do that right now i don't know if i told you guys if i was going to show you last vlog or this vlog what the chandelier ended up looking like but 
at first if you remember I had it low but that's that because my husband didn't have time to put it all the way up so this is what this is how it turned out I really like how it turned out let me cut the light on with the light on I don't know if you can tell how pretty it is but I love how it looks like I said before I had it lower but that's because my husband didn't have time to fully put it up and I kind of liked it a little low but I like that for more of a formal dining area look and I have a formal dining area so I just figured this is the kitchen so just keep it kind of high. And you guys I'm so excited because I'm starting to decorate for fall so all I have right now is those stems that are on the table but look how pretty this vase is. You guys know if you've been following me for a while you know I've incorporated like some olive in my kitchen so this olive color vase that I got from Target and then like I have some olive colored towels that one the one on the stove and then the one that's in the KitchenAid mixer and then I have this area over here with the olive color magnolia table cookbook and then this olive oil jar which I have not yet put olive oil in it I'm I need to do that but yeah I incorporated some olive so that vase looks perfect anyways the olive color is really perfect for fall in my opinion I really love this color it's one of my favorite colors and then these leaves I got from Amazon I'm obsessed with these leaves you guys these stems the cabinet I was talking about earlier excuse those little bit of dishes in the sink but is this right here I have all these tumblers and then a couple behind me that I need to this this needs to be organized way better this looks a mess but I do need to keep the kids vitamins and a couple of their cold medicines here because this is just what I reach for often and this is easy access so I am gonna leave it here but this needs to look more presentable but you guys I'm about to eat right now I haven't eaten and it is what time is it Lord <clears throat> Y'all, it's 4.30. I haven't eaten anything, so I'm about to eat something, and then when we come back, we're going to... I don't know why my camera's looking lopsided like this. Anyways, but after I finish eating, we'll come back and organize this cabinet. Alright, you guys, so I got these from Amazon, and these are supposed to ooh, help me organize the tumblers. All my unnecessary tumblers. I hope this is not hard to put together. It should. It shouldn't be. But I don't like putting anything together. Lord, why is it so many pieces? Uh -uh. Wait a minute. Maybe it's. Oh, it's two of them. That's right. Okay. So. Well, now hold on. Because then there should be six of these, right? If there's two. Oh, okay. I know I can count. Okay. How do you... <laughs> I'm not that good. I'm going to have to look at a picture. It comes with no instructions. Do they think people are supposed to just know how to put stuff together? Just... Clearly they don't know who I am. Are these even all the same size? Okay, they appear to be the same size. Can y'all even see? Okay, I'm gonna assume. No, I can't assume that, okay. I probably shouldn't assume a darn thing. Let me find something. Just no instructions. Let me find a picture. Sit down! Ooh, children will test all your patience. Just tap dance on your last nerve. Dang, I've been having these for a minute because I'm having to scroll back kind of far. That's Senia texting me, you guys. Um, yeah, I don't even know. Oh my gosh, this is annoying. Okay, let me find this and then I'm going to come back. So basically I'll hold 12 tumblers all together. So let's get started. Well, let me build the other one and then we'll get started pulling the tumblers from out of the cabinet. Alright you 
guys so my battery started to die so I just went ahead and finished up but I love how it came out the tumbler holder or whatever it's called it only holds six six of them each but I was able to put two more on top so therefore I'm able to have 14 tumblers up there which I'm so happy about and then as you can see I don't need any more wine glasses there's even a couple of wine glasses I think like six behind these uh, tumblers here at the bottom but I don't need any more tumblers or wine glasses I have a total of 25 tumblers and I have definitely gotten rid of some this is just what I have left but I don't plan on buying any more unless I'm just like absolutely wanting it but one does not need this many tumblers this is crazy it's okay we all have our things right and you guys know how I do. I have lots of things, lots of different things I like to collect. <laughs> and this is one of them. But I don't need any more. But I'm so glad I got to organize it. And then I haven't done it yet, just because I want to take a picture. But the vitamins, is, they're just going to go right behind this tumbler. So therefore, all I have to do is, you know, I have easy access to the kids' vitamins and a couple of their medications. So I have space right behind that um, yellow Hawaii tumbler. So even if you're asking 